Hey guys, Dr. Chris Marr from Aspire Natural Health here. I wanted to tackle a really important topic today, and that's the idea of blame versus responsibility. See, there's a real dark side to natural, alternative, integrative, functional medicine, whatever you want to call this type of medicine uh, that I practice, and that's the idea of blame. See, for good and bad, what the conventional system tells us is it's really not our fault, right? Whether we picked up some virus or bacteria and, you know, we can't really control that or we were in an accident, we can't really control that either, or whether it's just bad genetics or bad luck, the fact is it's not really our responsibility, it's not our fault, just stuff happens, right? And just take this pill or do this surgery or unfortunately maybe just learn to live with it. Um, but you know, we don't bear any responsibility or any blame. And, you know, that can make us feel better, um, but it doesn't really leave us much to do either. On the flip side, when you come and see someone like me and we're talking about the fact that, hey, diet and lifestyle really do play a role, okay, maybe there are bacteria, but of course, how strong our defense systems are to deal with that plays a part. And and maybe we were in an accident and and you know, maybe there was some responsibility there, maybe there wasn't, but how well our body heals and recovers from those things that we, we have a part to play in that. And maybe we did get bad genetics, but it's not just about genetics, it's about how what we do every day plays into that. So we start telling the message that, hey, there's responsibility here. The actions that we do or don't take on a regular basis, they affect us. And that hopefully is tremendously empowering to you. It is to me, and that's the way that we mean that. The actions that you take on a day-to-day -day basis play into whether you are healthy, get healthier, or are sick, or get sicker. The dark side here, however, is that this responsibility can morph or, or become a sense of blame. You know, I have cancer and it's my fault. I have an autoimmune disease and it's my fault. I'm a bad person because I chose to eat poorly or not exercise or stress out too much or I took an unnecessary course of antibiotics or I did something else and it's all my fault. Just like anything in life, blame is toxic. Blame is not helpful. If you've maxed out your credit cards, yes, it is your fault most of the time, right? Things happened and you chose to spend that money. You chose to do that. But getting stuck and fixating on blame or, or beating yourself up isn't productive or helpful. The only thing that can be helpful about blame is if we can take it to focus in on the actions that we did, understand them, and then vow to do differently, right? If you are significantly overweight and have diabetes, what you have put into your mouth has contributed in a major way to that condition. And the only use for blame, so to speak, is to look back at those choices, recognize the ones that were harmful for you, and then vow and make a plan and change your habits so that those don't happen. So that's where blame morphs into responsibility. There's a great amount of control that you have. Responsibility is a positive, beneficial trait. You may not be able to cure what has happened to you. In other words, make it completely go away and not be an issue. But you can take control. What you do on a day-to-day -day basis significantly impacts your health and well-being. So please, ditch the blame. You are not a bad person. You made the best choices you knew how at the time. And even if you knew better, your life circumstances were such that the choice you made was the most reasonable one to make at that time. Instead, replace that feelings, those feelings of blame with feelings of responsibility. I am powerful. I have the ability to impact my health and well-being. I can make better choices. All right, guys, so don't be disempowered by the beliefs that there's nothing that you can do. And don't be disempowered by letting yourself spiral into and stay in blame. Instead, we want to cultivate an attitude of responsibility, and we want to continue moving forward. Now, having a great coach 
and a guide, a guide and a mentor can help this process immensely. If I can be that person for you, if our team at Aspire Natural Health can be that person for you, I invite you, contact us. I hope you'll stay in touch. Please contact us through www.aspirenaturalhealth.com and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash aspirenaturalhealth. Until we talk again, take care.